guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can create pencil sketch effect in Photoshop. Uh, we'll be applying sketching effect to any image, uh, any portrait image. So we'll be using brush and pattern to create out this design. Here's a file which I have created. It has got four main components. The first one is the base sketch, where I've applied base sketch. The second is to uh, details. And third one is adding more details in the form of lines. And lastly, we have added shades and lines on background. So this way, we have completed this design we'll be applying this effect to the image so uh, let's see here are the brushes and patterns that I'm going to use in the tutorial you can find it downloading in the description let's open this image and we'll do some settings in the Photoshop so guys before you go further let me tell you about our channel sponsor Envato Market. Basically, it's a collection of themed marketplace where creative sells digital assets to help bring your ideas to life buy anything from Photoshop actions and video footage to advanced WordPress themes and plugins. So instead of subscriptions, users can purchase one of items which suits their requirement. For example, for this project, if you're looking for a Photoshop action to apply to your photograph, you'll find a bundle of action packs in their website. You can just go there, purchase the one you like, download it and then run the action and you can apply it to any photograph you like. So guys, if you do have a time and want to check out Amateur Market for your own creative projects, please do check out the link below. Alright, let's get back to tutorials. So here's the image. Let's increase the size. So I'll change the resolution to 300 and the height and width around 3500 and then click OK. After this, we'll load the brush and pattern. So let's uh, load it. Select the brush over there and go to Preset Manager and here go to load and select the brush this is the pencil sketch brush and open it and it will be loaded in the bottom so just click on that and you can see all these six brushes are loaded the next is we'll be uh, selecting the pattern and in the same way we'll load it here are all the patterns that i have loaded it has got five patterns just click on the load select the pattern and load it and here we go done now Double click on the layer to unlock the layer and let's add a new layer on top that this layer is going to be used as a mask layer. So it's very important select the uh, red color and using the brush just apply all over the image uh, where you want to apply the sketch effect. And to see if any space is left out just uh, hide the background layer and just fill up all the empty spaces. And let's hide the uh, mask layer. Now let's mask out the image. So with the command control press click on the thumbnail and then select the layer and click on mask and it will hide out the background. We can see that the transfer is 25% and then click OK. Now let's uh, create a duplicate and we'll use this new layer to convert into black and white image. So we'll be desaturating the image. So I'll go to image and do some settings. We'll go to levels and click on auto and then click OK. Then we'll again go to image uh, adjustment and let's desaturate it. Uh, now we'll go to auto contrast and image hue and saturation. And let's uh, increase the saturation level to 100. And that way uh, we are doing some of the settings so that we can make the image fully black and white with sharp details. And here is the image. Now the first thing we're going to do is to create a base sketch. So uh, let's create a duplicate of the layer and go to filter and under this go to high pass and let's set the radius value to 40 and this will give you this sharp look on the eyes and nose with a faded let's change the layer to darken and reduce the opacity to 50 percent and that way we got this image let's select both the layer and let's create a duplicate for backup and select the background to layer and group it up now selecting these to merge the layer so this image is going to be used to create the effect now let's go to filter filter gallery and here let's uh, apply some uh, paint effects so sprayed brushes effect let's adjust the stroke length set the stroke length around maybe 5 and the sprayed radius to around 16 to give that a uh, brush a line effect at the edges and now here is our image with the applied effect I'm creating another duplicate, keeping the original one safe. 
Now uh, select image and adjustment and go to brightness and contrast, reduce the contrast a little bit and add brightness so that we can see more details to the image and then click OK. Uh, now we'll go to select and color range. Under this uh, we'll reduce the range so that we can get the minimum details uh, and then click OK. Now command or control J to add it in a new layer and here we got an image with the minimum details and again we select the layer and do the color range this time we'll increase the range and click ok this will add more details command or control j to add it in a new layer and here is our second layer with more details and then first layer with the minimum details we need one more layer with the maximum details so let's select this one and again go to a color range and let's increase the range more and click OK and come out of control J and this will add in a new layer so we got a maximum range of selection we'll place this on the top now uh, let's delete out the remaining two images just delete that out and uh, under group one let's create a duplicate of the original image and bring it on top so we got four layers so first one second third and fourth for the fourth one let's uh, delete out this image so selecting the eraser tool erasing out this uh, eye and nose region now uh, here we go we got all the layers let's rename the layers i'll keep the name simple one two three four just name them Now we'll apply pattern to each of the layers. Just group them up before that and selecting them all let's reduce the fill value to zero and then double click on the first layer and apply pattern overlay. So select the second pattern, set the opacity to 100 and the scale size to around 100. And to adjust the uh, pattern in the image, just click on the image and drag and set the perfect shade you like and then click OK. Now with the Alt pressed, click and drag to apply copy of the pattern to the new layer. Let's change the pattern to uh, the third one and the scale size to 50 and keeping the opacity to 100 and adjust the sh shade and click OK. Create under copy for the second layer and here set the opacity to around 50 scale to around 50 and choose the second pattern again adjust the position a little bit and then click ok now do the same for the top layer choose the second pattern and set the opacity around 10 for this and scale size to 50 so here we go we got all the layers let's add a new layer on bottom for the background applied with white color uh, let's do some adjustments with the pattern overlay so that we can see some details along the eyes So I'm just uh, adjusting each of the patterns so that we can see more details Next we'll add pencil brush to the edge of the image So make a selection with the control press click on thumbnail then add a new layer on top Select the selection tool and with the right click click on make work path This will make a stroke path at the edges choose a brush so go to brush and let's choose this brush the thick one and right click and stroke path change it to brush and then click ok so this will apply brush along the edges and uh, let's go to path and let's deselect it and after this go to layer and with the command or control press make a selection and then select the group and apply mask and as you can see let's command or control i to reverse the selection and if i hide the mask layer you can see we have added a brush stroke effect along the edges of the image next we're going to be working on details layers so for that let's select the group one and create a duplicate bring it on top and here is our image and just right click and merge the group so this will convert into image now we'll bring out one more layer so i'll go to group one and create a duplicate of our original image and bring it on this second layer and selecting the first layer go to filter and go to high pass and for this let's keep the radius to 10 and click ok and this will add that shaded effect 
After this, go to Image, Adjustment and Brightness and Contrast. Here, increase the contrast value to 100 and this will add that sharpness to the image. Now, uh, go to Filter and uh, Filter Gallery. Over there, choose Cutout and we'll do some adjustments with the sliders over here. We'll change the edge simplicity to around 4, fidelity to around 2 and number of levels to around 7 and then click OK. Now, change the layer mode to overlay and then selecting these top two image uh, let's merge the layer and this will give us this single image with the sharpness let's create a backup by duplicating it and now go to image shadow and highlight here let's increase the amount to 100 and click ok and this will uh, give you this effect after this add high pass set it to 10 click ok then again go to adjustment brightness and increase the brightness and contrast after that go to filter gallery cut out set, do the same settings and click ok and this will give you this sharp details let's add more sharpness now we'll go to select color range and do some adjustments with the color range so we kept it to shadow uh, fuzziness around 29 and then click ok now command ctrl j and this will be added in a new layer we got this details we'll do one more thing again let's select the original layer create a duplicate of it do the shadow and highlight here keep it 25 and click ok then for high pass keep it 40 and then click ok then again let's increase the contrast after this, we'll go to filter gallery and apply cutout with the 742 settings. Now let's increase the contrast again and then we'll go to selection color range. Let's increase the range and fuzziness. Uh, we'll be choosing a little more details and then click OK, Command Ctrl J to add in a new layer. And here is uh, more details with the shade and dark details like that. Now we'll delete it again and create another duplicate of the image. For this, we'll apply high pass to around 160 and click OK. Then we'll be doing the same settings again and again. That is the same uh, contrast than cutout effect. Uh, for this, I'm doing some adjustment over here. I have set the number of levels to 6 and click OK. Uh, and uh, again, the contrast. So mainly, we are making sure that we are adding more details here with the range we have increased the range area and as you can see it has got more details over here let's delete out the nose and eye region with the eraser tool and apply pattern to this so double click on it choose pattern overlay choose the third pattern set the opacity to 100 and click ok let's uh, reduce the fill value to zero and we got this image i'll just do some settings to position and click ok let's create a duplicate of the pattern for that before that let's reduce the fill value to zero and now apply the pattern to each of the layers for the second one let's choose the last pattern pass it to 20 75 percent and scale to around 25 and to settings positions and click ok let's create a duplicate of the pattern for the first layer uh, for this, I have uh, given 25 opacity, choosing the uh, second last pattern and click OK. So we got this uh, detail layer as well. I will just group them up, selecting all the three and the base layer on bottom. Next, we're going to be creating the more detail layer. So I'm creating a duplicate of the original image and let's add shadows and highlight for this keep it 25 then high pass to around 40 then again contrast to 100 then we'll add cutout effect with 742 and then adding a little more contrast and then we'll select the color range so let's do color range over here settings choosing minimum details and then command control j and add a new layer and we got this image now i'll just delete out all the other images which we have used and we'll be working with this detail layer so uh, create a duplicate 
on the one and let's apply pattern before that let's reduce the fill value to zero now double click on the layer and apply pattern overlay uh, for this we're going to choose the first pattern that is line pattern let's keep it to 739 let's add it to this new layer as well and We'll keep it like that. So we got the details layer, more detail layer and the base layer ready. Let's group the image and here we go. Now we'll be adding brush strokes along the edges of the image. So I just opened the detail layer, selecting the third layer with the control plus click on the selection to make a selection. Then add a new layer on top and with the uh, selection tool, make work path. And then here, uh, choose a brush. We'll be using the brush. Let's uh, reduce the size a little bit. And then with the pen tool selected, right click and stroke path here choose brush and click okay this will apply brush effect along the edges and now let's uh go to path and deselect the path then go to layer and uh, with the command pressed just click on thumbnail to make a selection hide the layer and select our layer and then apply mask then press command or control i to reverse the masking region then if you are hide and hide it, you can see the effect we'll do the same thing for this layer so make a selection then use the selection tool before that, let's add a new layer on top and then using the selection tool, make work path, then choose a brush. We'll be choosing different brush for this. So I've chosen sketch lines, reduce the size like that. And now with the pen tool, right click and select stroke path and brush and then click OK. And this will apply that. Just deselect the work, hide the layer, make a selection and then Selecting the layer, apply mask. Command or control I, and this will apply that effect. So we got all the layers. We have added strokes to the edges, and this will give you that natural sketching look effect. Next, let's delete all these two layers, and here we go. So I'll just delete these layers, which are the stroke layers, and then add a new layer on top. These layers are going to be used to add like shades and lines, dots, details. So for the first layer, let's choose the line. Let's increase the size and I'll just apply randomly on the face. Then second, for the second layer, I've chosen this shade. I'm just applying shade along the edges on the background like that. Then added a new layer on top. I had chosen this uh, sketch lines. Just added some sketches like this randomly. Let's add new layer. And for this, I've chosen the lines, straight lines, and applying it along all over the artwork area. Just giving that uh, natural looking. And for the last one, the new layer, we have adding dots effect to all the images. And here we go. We got some nice details on the image make a selection using the thumbnail and then apply it to all of them so just with the all pressed click and drag and copy and apply to each of the layers uh, this way we got this effect i'm just adjusting some of the opacity levels so that we can give that uh, like lightness to the details as well so just after that name them and let's add a title so pencil sketch uh, choosing some font pencil thin line uh, stroke fonts and place them over here finally we have completed creating pencil sketch effect this will give you that realistic pencil effect you just need these patterns and brushes to create it and uh, you can do this to any image you like so guys i just want to say final thank you and shout out to Envido for making this video possible they have got a really fantastic products uh, if you guys are interested in video templates, please do check out Video Hive or a good option is Enveto Elements to access over millions of assets via monthly or annually subscription. Uh, so guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. Thank you.